Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Thursday, March uh, the 4th. <laughs> it's a really weird angle. You're sitting on my laptop and it's also why it's so bright, like on me. Um, yeah, this is a crocheting chat number 13. I can't remember. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not actually crocheting. I'm sewing. <laughs> I got some amigurumi bits here that I'm going to be sewing together. And it's a really cute amigurumi and it's kind of funny. But, um, I used the yarn right here. I love this yarn print. Uh, Blossom Opalus. <laughs> this was gifted to me, I think, by, um, I can't remember if I got this in the swap with Summer or if I got this in the swap with Brittany. I got it from somebody. <laughs> I can't remember. It's very recent, though. It's really pretty. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, it's a little tiny amigurumi. <laughs> and I'm about to sew an ear on. And I wanted to do crochet chat because I have the time. I just took a shower. So, my hair is all wet and crazy looking. <laughs> bad angle, bad lighting, whatever. Tis life. Anyways, uh, I didn't, I still haven't gotten around to printing out the questions <laughs> from the last one. So, I just brought it up on my computer. So, uh, the, and I clicked on just one, the random one. So, yeah. So, I got my, uh, thing here. So, feel free to crochet and listen to me blab and, uh, or watch me or sew ears onto an amigurumi head. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, uh, so the first one is from Family Clan. It's the, the YouTube handle. Uh, I know they've been following me for a while. I'm gonna make sure I got that ear in the right place. I'm not good at sewing stuff on sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, comment, blah, 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 I'll read through it because it's a long comment plus a question. So she says, my question is, does Jesse start preschool slash school this fall? What are your plans for yourself while he's at school? And then she tells me to take care. Her name is Jan, by the way. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Jesse does start kindergarten this year. He was supposed to go to preschool last year, but with coronavirus being crazy last year, um, you know, at first we didn't know what was going on and all that stuff. So, and registration for preschool and kindergarten in our area is in March. You know, last year in March is when COVID was all crazy, you know. The first thing, you know, it was first big here <laughs> in March last year is when um, the huge shutdowns were and it was hard to get groceries and everything. So, you know, me and Devin decided not to even register him because uh, we didn't know what was going to happen. So, this year, we are registering him into kindergarten. We already have, technically. The only thing I have to do is he's got to go get his physical the 15th of this month. So, it's coming up. Uh, and he's got to get his last shots, which I'm <laughs> not looking forward to that. Um, but, yeah. So, he's got to get some shots for kindergarten and uh, get a physical and all that stuff. We got a dentist appointment for him. And we also got a eye appointment for him soon. So, he's going to go to kindergarten. And it's all day kindergarten. Uh... I know some places do only half day kindergarten, but uh, in our area it's all day long. <laughs> so he'll um, go to school like seven something in the morning. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I had anything to do with school <laughs> like that. Uh, and then he'll come home in the afternoon to I think two forty five or something like that is when school is out. I don't even know. And uh, school is right down the road from here. It's probably. Maybe two miles, maybe three miles, somewhere around there. It's super close. And actually, my in-laws live right across the street from the school that he'll be going to. And it's uh, K to 5. So, he'll be going, unless we move, he'll be going to that school for the next, uh, what, six years? So, I'm sure we'll move before then, though. Or right, hopefully. I don't know. I'll just wait and see. But, yeah. So, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I really wish that he wasn't going to kindergarten during a pandemic. I wish that. This wasn't happening, obviously, but um, I'm really worried it's going to affect him in the long run. Uh, I hope it doesn't affect, you know, him liking school or his grades, you know, his learning and all that. I just I really hope it doesn't affect that. But, you know, I know that there's thousands and thousands and well, millions probably of kids being affected, you know. So he won't be the only one if, if it's a negative uh, computer wants to update. If there's a negative effect, you know, it's not like it's just going to be Jesse. It's going to be all of them or none of them, you know. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I'm super worried about him going to school, though, because he's my little baby. The school he's gone to is a brand new one. They just built it, I think, in 2019. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, because 2020 was supposed to be their first school 
the first, first I can't talk first school year at the new building and then you know everything happened so it was okay I got one year on there <laughs> uh, I'm always I always hate putting like multiples of things because one's always off <laughs> I usually just eyeball it. I don't take the time to like pin them in place and stuff. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm worried about him going to school. But I guess every mom is, especially um, with it being his first time going to school and it being in the middle of the pandemic and all that. But he's right down the road. My in-laws are right across the street. My mother-in-law works from home. So I know that he'll be fine. <laughs> and it's, you know, we live in a real small area. So I know that... Uh, I'm pretty sure that everything will be fine. I'm just going to be really worried about him for a while. <laughs> and uh, I'm mostly worried he'll be hungry. I'm afraid he won't eat because he's kind of a picky eater. So, I don't know. Just have to wait and see. You know, I'm sure if he gets hungry enough, he'll eat whatever they give him at the school. Uh, yeah. I'm excited that he'll have some little friends to play with finally. Because I was excited about that last year for preschool. And then everything happened. And... It just all backfired <laughs> but yeah so he is going to school i don't uh i'm just sitting here thinking about it now it's freaking me out <laughs> i know the first i know the first day for sure when we drop him off and the you know we see him to his room and the teacher's like okay you gotta leave now gotta do kindergarten stuff i'm gonna be a mess that day <laughs> i already i already told Devin, i was like you're gonna have to take me shopping take me to out to eat do all this stuff to keep me distracted the whole time that he's at school today I don't be freaking out thinking about him. But, um, and he said he would, so that's good. I'm, I'm gonna be upset for a while, but I know that I'll get used to it and Jesse will get used to it and, you know, I'll work out in the end. <laughs> I'm sure Jesse will love school because he'll have little friends and stuff. And he really does like learning, so I think that'll be fun. Alright, got that ear on. Boop. You'll be able to tell what it is now when I show it to you. It's a bunny. <laughs> it's so tiny. But, um, the second part of the question is what will I be doing when he's at school? Well, probably a lot of the same thing. I gotta bring up my internet because it's the picture of the rabbit so I know where its limbs are. Okay, I guess I'll do the body next. <laughs> um, what am I going to do when he's at school? <laughs> I probably do everything that I do now. Just maybe more... Organized. Because <laughs> right now I kind of work around Jesse. Like if he's having a bad day, I don't record. I don't sew. I try not to sew on days when Devin's at home. Because then we can do stuff as family. And I try to limit my sewing every day when it's just me and Jesse home. Because I don't want to sit there and sew all day. <laughs> while Jesse's, you know here because you know I want to pay attention to him <laughs> and all that so I'll probably get a better schedule of um sewing and of recording videos that'll be nice hopefully I can take better care of myself because you know I'll have nothing better to do all day than to uh eat better and work out <laughs> in theory I don't know what's gonna happen or not I don't really know I guess I'll just be doing a lot of working stuff and a lot of crocheting. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I, that's probably when I would try to get a job. But since I have a YouTube channel and uh, sew so many bags all the time, I'll probably just keep doing that. Do that a little bit more sometimes. Make bigger shop updates, maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh, why am I having such a hard time getting his body the way I want it? It's such a little bunny. <laughs> yeah, I will keep myself busy I always keep myself busy <laughs> I have to keep myself busy all the time I get comments about that all the time people always tell me oh you're so busy you're so busy you're always doing something and it's because for my mental health I have to stay busy if I sit if I sit too long I start thinking about things <laughs> and I'll I'll either bum myself out or freak myself out I have an issue with um paranoia never been diagnosed with anything but I've never went to the doctor either because <laughs> I don't like going to the doctor but, um, I have a big issue with paranoia, and if I get to thinking about too much stuff, I'll start freaking out, and, uh, I don't really have panic attacks. I feel like that's crooked. Well, if it's crooked, it's alright. He can be, like, with his head tilted. <laughs> um, yeah, if I get to thinking about, uh, 
what's currently going on in the world or I think it comes from being young during September 11th that's what I'm blaming it on because I was 11 when that happened and it traumatized me along with everybody else who watched it uh happen and uh it just made me super paranoid because I remember after that happened people were freaking out and hoarding the stores to get food and gas because we didn't know if uh like the world was going to come here you know it already came here when they blew up or crashed the planes so uh you know no one knew what was going to happen and uh I was only 11, but even I knew that that was, you know, that something bad was going to happen, probably. And, um, I think that's, my paranoia sometimes stems from that. So, I can't, uh, set in my own mind for too long. <laughs> if it's too quiet and I start thinking about things like that that's scary, I'll start panicking. And I'll almost get obsessed with it. Um, like, I could easily become a prepper, I think, because I've thought about it multiple times. But, uh, it it freaks me out, you know, to think, to think that you might actually need to prep for stuff is scary. But, I mean, 2020 kind of showed us that it's pretty good to have some sort of stockpile on foods and uh, toilet paper <laughs> and money because, you know, you never know if you're going to get laid off because everybody's sick. Uh, luckily, we didn't get affected much job standpoint. You know, we suffered from not being able to buy the foods we normally buy because everybody else panicked and bought it all. And uh, we never went without toilet paper because I always buy a lot of toilet paper at once. I always, even though it's just me, Devin, and Jesse here, I always buy the big giant packs with like 40 rows in it just because um, I hate running out. You know, like I like being able to just buy it every now and then. So luckily we had plenty of toilet paper last year, but we did have to be more pickier with what we ate, you know. And um, Devin ended up getting a ton of overtime last year because they laid off everybody at his company except two people and Devin was one of those people and uh they just basically cleaned a lot while they were there look at him he's so cute I wish I had put bigger uh safety eyes but it's too late now <laughs> um so I gotta sew on the legs and arms probably start with the legs yeah I got on a side note about being paranoid <laughs> but yeah that's my plan Jesse's going to school this fall I think school starts here the end of August pretty sure it's the end of August and where did the legs go I guess I don't know um and then so he'd go to he'll only I think it's in six week uh increments <laughs> like he'll go to he'll start school in the end of August and he'll go for Let's see here. They're off for Labor Day, which is in September. So help I guess he'll go to work or to work school for six weeks. No, because they have a fall break in like November, I think. I can't remember. I don't know. It's been years <laughs> since I've ever had to worry about like the school schedules. Luckily his school is like a new modern school. And they have, um, they have an app that parents can sign up for, and the teacher can send you messages and stuff throughout the day and let you know how your, how your kid's doing. And, uh, it also lets you know the, like, the menu for the lunch, uh, cafeteria and all that. I plan on giving him breakfast here before I take him to school, and then, um, he'll eat lunch at the school. I'm going to see if he wants to actually eat school lunch, and then if he doesn't, then I'll just pack him lunch. Uh, I'm a little worried about masks. I'm going to have to make him a bunch of masks, and because uh, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of them probably will never make it home, because <laughs> he'll probably lose them, but that's okay. I know a lot of states are lifting a lot of their mask uh, mandates, but so far, Tennessee hasn't. Uh, it, they don't enforce it though. <laughs> like, um, you know, like stores will say, uh, face covering required, but then you see a ton of people in there without a face covering and no one even says anything. Like the employees, you know, I guess they're avoiding drama, but what's the point of having like a rule if you're not gonna enforce it? <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that they do the vaccines for kids. I know they're not really... A priority because COVID supposedly doesn't affect them very much, but 
you know, I don't want to be the statistic that breaks that rule. I know they're giving them all to teachers and all that, so it's kind of weird that they'd give them to the teachers and not to the kids. But our area is doing it by age groups. I know a lot of areas are doing it that way. Well, you know, they're done, um, I guess, by importance, you know, like teachers and people who work in long-term care facilities, stuff like that, already got theirs, most mostly. And, um, and then they're also doing it by age. They did the really old people first. <laughs> it was, I think, the first um, group was 75 plus. No offense if you're that in that age group. I didn't mean that that way. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, and then just uh, yesterday, they posted, our health department posted that it's now for 65 plus. So there's one more bracket, and then my mom and stepdad can get theirs. Because <laughs> my stepdad just turned 60 yesterday, the third. And my mom is 56. She'll be 57 in April. So I'm glad that that's coming up because I've been, they're the people in the family I've been the most worried about because they're both older and my mom's health is kind of crappy <laughs> she got all kinds of like health issues but um if you followed me for a while you know that because i talk about her all the time about her bad health <laughs> but yeah so I'm, I'm excited that that's coming up but i don't know supposedly i was reading an article that there's going to be enough uh vaccine for everybody in like, by may but uh i don't know how true that is <laughs> we'll have to get wait and see i guess um I don't know. Just like everything, this last year plus, we had to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I got the legs on there. Oh Lord, please let them be straight, because I do not want. I'm not. I already winged in the end, so even if they're crooked. Okay. He kind of looks like he's looking off to the side, but that's okay. I need to make a tail. The pattern didn't call for a tail. Maybe I didn't see it. <laughs> arms. Two arms left. So it's been 17 minutes. I'll probably go ahead and stop this. You'll see this bunny in my next No Catch Day episode completely finished <laughs> since I'm still working on it. Where are the arms at? Okay, the arms are up by the neck. It's always kind of weird when they put them all up that high. But I guess ours are up by our neck too, aren't they? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to finish this little bunny. I'm going to get this edited and uploaded. And uh, I got a bunch of questions from the first video that I posted the other day. It's actually the 12th, I think, but it's been like a while since I made one of these. But um, I got them all saved, so I'm going to be going through them over time. But if you have another question you'd like to ask me that's personal or crochet related or something like that, leave it below. Uh, of course, you know, not super personal, but, you know, I'll judge that for myself. <laughs> but um, I got a whole bunch of them, and some days I will do more than one uh question it's just today i was trying to focus on getting this little bunny done <laughs> so uh i wasn't reading through them but i do plan on like printing them out or something so that i can just read them and it's better than having to click on them on my computer but anyways i'm gonna finish this little bunny i will link its pattern in the description below if you want to check it out it's supposed to be made with super bulky yarn <laughs> but i just made it with worsted weight and a elf hook so it's tiny uh it's supposed to be much larger i think uh Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse made a bunch recently. That's where I got the idea to make one. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and uploaded. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday, for the next No Catch Your Name episode. So I'll be sure. And I got one, two, three. I'll have four <laughs> finished objects. Maybe more if I crochet some more time. I don't know. But I have, I'll have three of my groomies and my, uh, my other cardigan. My yellow one's laying right there. My rainbow one's laying on the other side of the couch or arm. I was wearing it this morning <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys in the next uh crocheting chat like i said leave any questions below if you want to and yeah that's it bye guys